I recall, the location of another of our tasks is not far from here. All knowledge of this, God's way, stems from the forbidden magic research laboratory, which can be found here in the tower. However, you would do well to first travel to the altar at our cost and seek a man named Ambrosius. For as a researcher of this laboratory, he will doubtless be able to answer many of your questions. Much of an adventure if all we do is make camp. We shall be ill prepared for battle if we rest over much. I suppose you'll be wanting my help. Oh, very well. It is vital you remain level headed. Who are you? Uh, no, n never mind, it is of little import. I'm searching for blue crystal shards. Find any, and I'll pay you handsomely. The bigger they are, the higher your reward will be. Have you found any blue crystal shards? Is that all? Tiny fragments still. I expect I'll find a use for them. Here, take your coin and be gone. Tis a god's sway. Well, 
to be precise, the crystalline substance from which it is made. By refining such crystals, anyone can attain the power of the Arisen. The power However, small fragments are meaningless. They cannot contend with the Arisen's power, you see. Speaking of which, should you find any large fragments, bring them to me, won't you? Though that might be difficult, we've scoured this area quite thoroughly, I should think. It is possible larger shards may have been mistaken for jewels and carried off by scavengers or collectors or some such. Mayhap one such as the Oracle or the Dragonforged would be able to aid you in locating them. I can tell you no more than that. Tis Mayhap one such as the Oracle. Scour for Alf. The Arisen comes. Is this meeting also by the dragon's design? It is for ye to determine what that bond constitutes. Be it a hapless fate, or a curious boon. The Godswain. Forgive me, but I've ne'er heard of such a thing. However, some years past, a sorcerer of the Tar came to me seeking knowledge of the dragon, just as ye have. Faces, sir, I believe he called himself. It appeared his intent was to alter the will of the world through mortal means. Perhaps there is some connection. The substance of which ye speak is formed of crystallized droplets of dragon blood. Worm's life crystals can be obtained not only from the true red dragon, but from lower drakes as well. They retain a measure of draconic power, and when used correctly, will bestow upon ye powers that eclipse the will of this world. Ye need not seek the dragon. It will find ye. Aye, make no mistake. The dragon will appear before ye. Still, I suppose I can tell ye about a rumor I heard the other day. Apparently, a dragon was sighted in Harv village, though I am not sure I believe it, after all. Now that ye have been marked as arisen, the dragon ought next appear before ye at the appointed time. So it stands to reason that even if a creature of draconic aspect and destructive powers did appear in that village, it was no dragon. A mockery of one, perhaps, but not the dragon true. I am the husk of he who was once arisen. My final battle against the dragon culminated in the loss of the will that should have seen me bring the creature Thus, as the Arisen is defined by the strength of their will, from that moment on I was Arisen no longer. Such is the world's will. I dare say it compels me e'en now to impart upon ye all the knowledge I possess. 
The Arisen is a transcendent being, always chosen by the dragon. It marks for itself the individual who must fell it. Thus, when the dragon is made manifest, so too is an Arisen. And should that Arisen fall, another shall rise in their place. The cycle is doomed to continue till the dragon is felled. For that is what the will of this world has ordained. The dragon is the embodiment of destructive force. Though this does not mean that it is evil. Understand this. The concepts of good and evil are mortal inventions. And thus cannot be applied to the dragon. It is a being of a higher order, as are ye. Now that the dragon has marked ye, setting ye apart from your fellows. Then go, but visit me again when ye have spilled draconic blood. Since times of eld, dragon blood has been used to refine all manner of equipment. I myself learned the art by deciphering ancient texts. Remember, Draconic blood flows through the veins of lesser drakes as well. Bring me what ye reap, and I shall harness it to your benefit. Then I bid ye farewell. To think these weathered bones could you come over here? It is about time we pressed on, wouldn't you say, Master? Ready? Bother. I was just getting... Warmed up. I knew you would come, a risen one. You seek answers, and you shall have them, if it is within my power to know them. Loath as I am to admit it, I know little of the artifact of which you speak, though I shall tell you aught I can. I sense a land soaked in warmth, a warmth akin to your own arisen, to that of the power of the life you possess. Yet it now lies many fathoms below the surface of the sea, in a place unreachable by mortal hands. Though it is strange, for I sense also that this warmth grows ere near. It would seem a path will be open to you in time, allowing you to venture into the heart of this warmth so like your own. Perhaps he who was dragonforged can tell you more. Seek him out in Harv Village, if you would learn from him. I don't know about you, Master, but I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on?
aware you do not fall prey to the enemy's attack as we pass. It is as you say. Much appreciated. My strength was beginning to flag. About time you came along. I have a special tale to share with you today. Or so I'd like to say, but it is getting rather late. Best spend the night. We can talk again come the morning. Ah, good. You're awake. Look to the sea, my friend. Hard to resist setting out in one's boat with fair skies like these, eh? <laughs> now, I've told you about the sunken temple in the middle of the sea, haven't I? I, I'm quite sure I mentioned it, but I ne'er spoke of the man who resides there. He was such a worthy ruler in life that his armies safeguard him even in death, as he himself would have it. He was once entrusted with the task of watching over this world from the heavens above, yet he tired of his duty and abandoned his perch in the sky in favor of founding a small kingdom on the ground. Alas, though he was a just and goodly ruler, there is not a single person alive who remembers his name. Ooh, it sounds unfortunate, but if you ask me, it is all a matter of perspective. It can be a blessing to forget and to be forgotten. I should know. In all my long years, I've never forgotten a single thing. I remember everything. Every little detail. Would that I could forget some of it. <laughs> a lie it may seem, but a lie it is not. I speak only the truth, as you well know. Come see me again if it pleases you. I've tales of plenty to share. Friend, I'd ne'er seen the like. I'd not known there were ruins in the depths of this cavern till the path appeared. Twas magic, methinks. I should have liked to investigate if the place hadn't been crawling with monsters. I'll be needing sturdier arms than these afore I head back in there, I fear. At any rate, I'd best report this discovery to my commander. I only pray Nort Grave shall come of it. Yon structure upon the sea bears an aura akin to that of the Arisen, in some inexplicable way. Curiously, it does not seem to be of mortal make. Mayhap twould behoove us to investigate.